joins us, they're going to be able just to pop in. We're going to get started standing at the top of your mat. So instead of in a seated pose, we begin standing. Coming up to the front edge of your mat, you put your arms in heavily. Shut your eyes. And just take a few big breaths in and out. Simply noticing the way you're beginning, the way your body feels as you stand here. Maybe you're noticing some heaps and kinks in your spine, in your hips, your legs. Maybe your brain's still waking up. That's okay. This practice is not about being perfect as you get started. It won't be about being perfect when you end. It's about being okay to connect and meet yourself where you start. Give yourself permission to be however you are. And also give yourself permission to change. To allow what's stiff or what feels clumped up to try to elongate. Hello, brain that might be half awake or all over the place to give yourself a chance to be steady and to be still. You have permission to be present. You have permission to be imperfect. And you are allowed to be mutable. You are allowed to be changeable. Bring your feet closer together. You're going to root firmly into your feet. Bring your hands together at your heart. Take a big inhale through your nose. A big hop through your mouth. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And ha out through your mouth. Close your lips. Inhale through your nose. Exhale off through your nose. Same active hop sound, but through your nose only. It's called victorious breath. It's there to be your energy. It's there to be your baseline. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Pull your belly button in and up to your spine. It's called your upward body lock. You're pulling your low abs in. It will support your back. It engages your upper body. On your next inhale, you're going to lift up your pelvic floor. This is your lower body lock. Just your pyramid, it's right behind your genitals. It's not a big squeeze, it's just a lift. You're just engaging two halves of your body. Open your eyes, gaze off the tip of your nose. You created an internal stability from your breath to these body locks. Keep coming back to them no matter what your pose looks like. The sun salutation A. Cross the muscle and on the start. Ache and inhale, reach your arms out and up overhead, look up. Do I exhale, fold down and look at your knees. Tree knee inhale, rise halfway up, flat back. Chuck water in your knees, plant your hands to the back to the top of the push up. Shift forward and lower halfway down. Plant your flip onto the tops of your feet, straighten your arms, look up. Shut, exhale, clear your toes under, extend your hips up and push them back. Nice wide palms. It's okay wherever your body feels in this pose as you get started this morning. The inhales make you find a little length in your back. And as you exhale, press the weight into your legs. Stop to inhale. Step walk or jump your feet to the top of your mat and look up halfway when you're there. Ashta exhale, folds down with your knee. Now we inhale, rise, reach, look up. Exhale, hands at your heart, we're just staying standing. We keep coming back to this. Anchor in, inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Dway, exhale, dive down and fold the feet and the knees. Truly inhale, rise halfway up, flat back. Tapari, step back to your plank, lower half or all the way. Ponta, flip to the feet, straighten the arms, look up. 
but exhale, curl your toes, hips up and back. Keep the body hip width apart, the big toes not touching. If you need the help, if your shoulders are still tight or tired, step wider. So one hand length between your feet's pretty good distance. Chin set to the chest, lift your belly button. Stop to inhale, step walker, jump to the top of your mat, rise halfway up. Off to exhale, folds and continues. Now inhale, rise, reach, lift up. Exhale, hands at your heart. We're going to do it three more times. And you can inhale, reach up, lift up. The way I exhale, dive down. Shrini inhale, rise halfway. Chakwara, step back to that little push up, belly in. Palms your inhale, tops of your feet, scoop up your chest. Cut, exhale, hips up and back. Five breaths here, unlike the three in vinyasa. Make them active breaths, active inhales, active exhales. Stop to inhale, step on your jump forward, look up and lengthen. Ashta, exhale, fold. Now, inhale, rise up. Exhale, your hands at the heart. And you can inhale, reach out to Nasana. Do I exhale, fold to Nasana? Trini, inhale, Arna. Chaturanga, exhale, Chaturanga, lower. Pancha, inhale, Urva Mukha. Shut, exhale, hips back, Adho Mukha. Stop the inhale up to the top, halfway rise. Off to exhale, pull. Now inhale, rise up. Exhale, stand in some of us Last time like this. Inhale, inhale up. Do it, exhale down. She inhale, halfway. Shatwari, exhale, chaturanga, push up. Punch in your herbal muka. Shut, exhale, arana muka. Feel that exhale in the back of your throat, using the belly button. Stop the inhale to the top. Ashta, exhale. Now, in your rise. Exhale, Samasiti. With the Sarnamaskar, Sun Citation B. And you inhale, bend your knees, swing your fingers down, reach them up, lift up. When I exhale, dive down and fold, look at the knees. Truly inhale, halfway up. So tomorrow, I exhale, step back, lower down. Punch, inhale, top of the feet. Shut, exhale, hips back. Step your right foot in between your hands, put your back foot flat. Start to inhale, lunge up, arms up overhead. Hips are reaching forward, arms are reaching up. Ash to exhale, hands on the ground, step back, lower down. Now we're in the other move. Gosh, exhale, out of the Left foot forward, back foot flat. A kind of shut in the rise and reach up. Again, right hip forward, left hip back. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower down. Troy Lodisha, tops of the feet. Shut or fish to exhale, hips up and back. Five breaths in this one. It is really easy in some B when we start moving more to not breathe until you get to this spot. That's okay, that's normal. Turn your breath back on when you realize this. Onto the shot, inhale up to the top, sit halfway up. Throw the shot till fold the hip and knees. Stop with the shot, bend your knees. Inhale, chest, arms, eyes up. Exhale, stand your straight legs, hands at the heart. We're going to do the same thing four more times. If you inhale, bend the knees, reach down and up. Where exhale, folds over. Tree, inhale, rise, halfway. Just more, step back, lower down. Palms on your tops of the feet. Shut, exhale, hips back. Right foot forward, back heel down. Stop to inhale, lunge, up arms over your head. Arch to exhale, hands down and lower. Now inhale, tops of your feet. Gosh, exhale, hips back. Left foot forward, back heel down. 
Ikhara shrugging her lunge of arms up. The water is going to exhale, hands down and lower. Twirl the inhale. Chakra Fisher, exhale. Enjoy Pranayama in and up through the nose. Upward body lock on the exhale. Belly button in. Pelvic floor lifts on the inhale. Ponge of the child, inhale up to the top. So this exhale flows. Top of the child, bend your knees and cover your eyes up. That's the first time I speak to you. And then you have bend your knees with the pasana. When you exhale, it's an asana. Truly inhale, Ardha. Chaturi, exhale, Chaturanga. Punch in your arms up. Cut, exhale, Ardha. Right foot forward, stop to inhale, rise up. Arms um, to exhale, Chaturanga. Now, one inhale. Rasha. And exhale, left foot forward. Ekadasha, inhale, rise up. Rasha, exhale, lower. Troil the shin, inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. You are not suspended between your ankles and your wrists. Your long arms and spine. Exhale into the legs. Conscious shut, inhale up to the top. Show the shot, exhale, fold. Top of the shot, bend the knees, inhale, rise. Exhale, same as we do, two more. Eight, inhale. Play, exhale. Tree inhale, chest and body, exhale. Pancha inhale, shut, exhale, right foot forward, sata, inhale, ashta, exhale. Now inhale, dasha, exhale, left foot forward, ikadasha, inhale, dwadasha, exhale, trodasha, inhale, chakrafisha. Exhale. And the shell inhale up to the top. To the shell, exhale. Top to the shell, the knees. Inhale. Exhale, so much to do. Last one. Inhale. Inhale, leg, exhale, training, inhale, chest warrior, lower, punch, inhale, shut, exhale, right foot forward, Stop the inhale, ashra, exhale, now, inhale, ashra, exhale, left foot forward, ikadasha, inhale, duadasha, exhale, Throw the shot in, and throw the shot, exhale. So in citation A and B, move quickly to warm up your spine, your hamstrings, your hips, and the cardiovascular system to make what follows easier to get into your body. Pound the shot, inhale up to the top. Throw the shot, exhale. Stop to the shot, then knees. Inhale. Exhale. And it's all sweet and sweet. All right. I'm turning, not here. Pattern goes fast enough. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Exhale, hands to hips. You know, squeeze your elbows behind you, look up. Then you show yourself bow forward. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers, your bend those to your middle finger. And you inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, bend your elbows out to the side and fold. Chest to thigh, and those knees. Your knees can be slightly bent if they need to. So actively reach your spine down. Actively pull your elbows apart to the sides. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend your knees a lot if you need to. Slide your hands under your feet. Kind of step all the way to the wrists. As you inhale, look up as long as you can get. Exhale, fold as deeply as you can get. Allow yourself to be neutral, not just stuck in one spot. 
but the inhales always find space. The exhales help you soften even if it's in your head. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, knees to heaven. Awesome. Inhale, turn to the right side of your mat, step out wide, arms out to your teeth. So you do want the length of your mat. Turn your right foot to the back of your mat. So you exhale, reach forward and then down. Your right hand reaches to your knee, your ankle, or your toe. The inhale reaches your left arm up, look up. Not just hunk down into the joints, reach away. Long spine, long arms. Eyes up to the sky, if your neck's okay with it. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up. Put your right foot in. Turn your left foot to the front. Exhale, reach forward, then down. Again, big toe, shin or ankle. Inhale, looks up. Letting the shoulders stack. Open the chest. Rooting into your feet. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up. Turn your left foot in. Now we're going to twist. Turn your right foot and your hips to face the back of the mat. Exhale, cartwheel your left hand down. Bring your left hip forward with you. Hands to either side of your foot. Inhale, lift your right shoulder up to the sky and then your right arm up and twist. Rooted into your legs. The right hip is reaching away from your face. Your right shoulder is reaching up to the ceiling of the sky. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up. Right foot in. Left toes in the hips. Turn to face the front of your mat. Exhale, cartwheel that right hand down. Bring that right hip with you. Either side of your foot. Inhale, lift your left shoulder. Then your left arm up. Let the clip of your belly and the spine, not from your shoulder bone. Chest is technically open. It's our belly that's twisted. Go down. Inhale, rise up. Left foot in, arms out wide. Exhale, step back to the top of the mat, hands at the heart. We're going to step back again. We do the pose for Kanasa. Inhale, turn your right, step a little wider. Arms out to your teeth. Turn your right toes, lunge on your right knee. Reach forward, then down. Bring your forearm to your thigh, your hand to the ground. Inhale, sweep that left arm up and over your head. You've got a strong diagonal angle. So if your hip is reaching up to the sky, press your right hip forward, lunge a little more. Eyes up to the left fingers if you can. Forearm to thigh is a great place to be if you need it. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up, right foot in, left foot turns. Exhale, lunge on that left knee. Forearm down or hand to the ground. Inhale, sweeps the right arm up and over your head. Not collapsing into our leg, we're trying to open up even when we don't Feels so open. Sometimes faking it helps you do it. Exhale it down. Inhale lifts you up. Left foot in. We're going to twist. Right foot and the hips turn to the back. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lunge forward and twist to the right. Left elbow outside your knee. Inhale, push into your palms. Lift your chest up to your thumbs. You can stay here. We're going to go a lot deeper. Left hand down, right arm up, and then over your head. It's up to your body. Exhale it down. Now rises up, right foot in, left foot in the hips, turn to the front. Hands to the heart, exhale, lunge forward, twist left. Elbow outside your knee. Inhale, heart up to your thumbs. The way we had the arms before is how you would do it if you opened up. The left arm's going to go over your head. Exhale down. Inhale rises. Left foot in. Arms out wide. Exhale. So I'm going to sink the heat top of your mat. Cross the to have up to Nasana. Inhale. Turn to the right again. Step out wide. Arms to your On this one, you want your toes straight ahead or pigeoned in. Exhale, hands to hips. As you inhale, look up. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands under your shoulders. 
Walk your hands back. Trying to line the heel of your hands with the heel of your feet. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend your elbows like a tricep push up. Reach the top of your head to the ground. So elbows don't go towards your legs. They go behind you. Reaching into the palms. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, adjust your feet if you need. Inhale, nice wide arms. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, squeeze your elbows behind you, look up. Exhale, keep those elbows behind you as you reach the top of your head to the ground. Low belly in. Your legs are firm, so notice the balls of your feet. Notice the heels of your feet. You're down, and as you inhale, roll all the way up. Exhale, adjust if you need. Hip knee up. Inhale, nice wide arms. Exhale, hands behind your back this time. Interlace your fingers together, or hold your elbows if you need. Roll the shoulders down the back, inhale, look up. Exhale, bow forward, chest, and then the top of your head reaching to the ground. Those arms will go down too. These poses are made easier the wider you step your feet, the harder the closer the feet are together. Get down to your legs, inhale, rise up. Check with the last one, adjust your feet. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, bow forward, this time grab your big toes, your shins, your ankles. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side, pull your chest to thighs, your thighs to your chest, arms out to the side. Inhale, look it up. Exhale, hands in the hips. Inhale, rise, wide arms. Exhale, step it back to the top of your mat, so let's see if you need. Guards with Tanasana, inhale one last time, step to the right. But bring your feet about three feet apart, so closer. As you exhale, bring your arms behind your back. You can hold your elbows, or you can put your palms together in prayer. As you inhale, turn your right foot and then your hips to face the back of your mat. And as you exhale, really pull your right hip back. Inhale, lift your head and your chest. And exhale, start to fold over. My friends with tight hand knees. Get more out of the stretch by pushing your right hip back and extending your spine straight and flat. Go deeper if you're able. You're down to your legs. Inhale, rise up. Right foot in, left foot in the hips, turn to the front. Exhale, pull that left hip back. Inhale, lift your torso up. And exhale, hold again as far as you can. Hold kind of a misnomer. Your spine should be active. Like this is my hamstring. The bone is tight so you can hover. All right, hands up. Left foot in, arms out wide. Exhale, top of the mat. So I'm just going to see. That's the cool one. You see the house that's how to move fast enough. Inhale, get rooted in your left foot. And as you exhale, bring the hands to your hips. Inhale, bring up your right knee or your right leg. Either one works. Exhale, you're going to hold your knee or reach for that right big toe. Inhale, long spine, everyone. And exhale, fold over the long leg. As much about your thigh to chest as your chest to thigh. Now lift up the torso. Exhale, open your right leg out to the right. Return to a bent knee if you need. Exhale, look over that left shoulder. Bring into your left big toe, calf, quad, glute. Inhale, bring to the center. Exhale, fold over your leg. 
Inhale, lift up your torso. Everyone, straighten that right leg in front of you, hands to the hips. Feel like as high as you can without leaning back. Leaning back. So spine is up, foot is up, high little go. Not meant to be comfy. Let yourself be mutable. And a little higher. Exhale, foot down. Good job, second side. And he'll get root in your right leg. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, lift up your left knee. Lift up your left leg. Big inhale, breath. Exhale, fold. Use that same breath we've been using this whole time. Now lift the torso. Exhale, open out to the left, bending your straight leg. And exhale, looks over that shoulder. Center. Exhale, folds. And you lift up your torso, hands to the hips. Everyone, left leg as high as you can without leaning back. So pull the belly in. You are supported from your heels at the top of your head. Puppet strings attached to the top of that left foot, keeping it up. In a little higher. Exhale, foot down. Ardha Bada Padma Tanasana. Inhale, get rid of your left leg. Exhale, bring your right knee up. Bring your right heel into your left. Brush your knee down. Pelvis is forward. If this does not work for your knee, ankle over knee for figure four, or just put your foot inside your standing ankle. Inhale, take your right arm across your face. Exhale, swim it around your back. Touch your hip. See if you can maybe get to your foot. If you can hold your foot, inhale, lift the left arm up. And then exhale, fold over. If you can, and your balance is all right, you can do both hands to the ground. Walk the hand back, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold as deeply as you can. Final expression, your hand is flat in line with the heel of your foot and your nose is facing your knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale, slide bend your knee. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, foot down, Samasthi Siddhi. Second side, inhale, get rid of your right leg. Exhale, bring your left knee up. Heel into your hip crease. Knee down, pelvis forward. Modify as needed. Inhale, left arm across the face. Exhale, around the back. Get to your hip, maybe to your foot. Inhale, right arm lifts if you're holding your foot. And exhale, fold. You don't have the bind, but you do have the balance. You can fold both hands down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. If you're standing, think broad chest, tailbone tucked under. Inhale, look up. Exhale, slide bend your knee. Inhale, rise is up. Exhale, foot down, so must be TV. Back to the top of your neck. Back to the your heart. Some slide section A. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold down. Tree inhale, lengthen. To floor, exhale, step back, lower down. Ponch inhale, earth level foot. Shut, exhale, arm on the This time, step one, jump your feet to the top of your mat. Automatically bend your knees. And right away, you will rise, chest, arms, and your eyes. So holding this time. So reach down while you reach up. Shoulders out of the ears. Be present where your struggle is today. Be open to where you can change. You get that softness. Exhale, fold down like the chimneys. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Two, four, exhale, shut the right and lower down. Punch in the arms and move. Shut, exhale, out of the Right foot forward, spin your back heel down. Inhale, lunge up on the overhead. And we're going to hold. 
So notice the hips. You're trying to square something that's round. So notice that left hip reaching forward while the right hip is pulling back. Rooted into your feet. Belly is in, letting your ribs get out of your stomach. Your stomach out of your hips. Keep your eyes upward if you can. And I'll straighten your right knee. Pivot your right foot in. You're going to pivot to face the back of your mat. And then next to lunge on that left knee. Same pose, other side. As you exhale, bring your left arm in front of you. Open your hips and your shoulders to the right, bring your right arm behind you. So lunging on that left knee, it likes to collapse inwards. So reach it in front. Shoulders are back. Quiet shoulders, active arms. Keep the arms the same. Inhale, straighten your left knee. Put the left foot in and send the right foot to the front. And then exhale, lunge on that right knee. Your left leg is grounding you to that right thigh, bend the knee, and keep pressing forward. Exhale, cartwheel both hands to the ground, step back to plank, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hips. Inhale, up on your toes, step over and jump to seated. Long legs in front of you. You've made it to your mat. Bring your hands to the mat beside your hips. Play around with it. Everyone's looks a little different. So press into your palms. Roll your shoulders up and down the back. Sit as tall as you can. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. For a little more, flex your feet, point your toes to your face. Passion with Tanasana. Inhale, reach down your legs. And as you exhale, grab something. Start at your big toes. You might be higher up your legs. Inhale, look up for length. Exhale, elbows off the side and fold. If you want more in your back, but your hand knees won't let you, bend those knees a little bit. Inhale, look up and lengthen. As you exhale, readjust your body so you can go any farther. Maybe grab the outside of your feet. Inhale, look up wherever you are. Exhale, fold. Try now to decide that you're as far as you can cross the big gate. Use your breath to help. Inhale, look up. Use that trick here. As you exhale, reach any farther, even if it's a millimeter. Maybe it's both hands outside your feet, maybe not. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Now inhale, rise up. We're going to do this a lot, and they are all optional. Inhale, lift up your legs as you lean back. Exhale, roll forward. Find that high plank and lower down. It's called a vinyasa. You can skip it one over. Top the feet in that way. Exhale, hips up and back. Inhale, up to toes. And your exhale, jump through the seated long legs. Just so you know, we do it a bunch. Bring your hands to the mat behind your back. Fingers face your hips. Rotate your inner thighs together. Press into your palms and inhale, pick up your hips. Gentle, drop your knees back. Samadha thigh, bend your knees, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower your hips. And you inhale, lean back. Exhale, roll forward, then that so we're going to need to sit down. Exhale. Come and be seated. All right. Ardha Vada Padma Pashimotanasana. Bend your right knee. Bring your right foot on top of your left thigh. As close to your belly as you can get it. Inhale, take your right arm, raise it across your breast. 
Exhale around your back. It helps get early a chromium process in your shoulder. We trigger hip, maybe your foot. Take your left arm and inhale, reach it as far down as you're able. On your exhale breath, we're going to fold. If your right shoulder is craning up to the ceiling, drop the bind so you can let your shoulder drop towards your leg. Now look up, exhale, now inhale, rise up, crisscross your ankles, hands beside your hips, lean forward, press into your palms, inhale, bump up your rear, maybe your feet, exhale, sit, take your right leg long, second side, left heel on top of your right quad, wherever it will go, inhale, wrap the arm across, exhale, around your back, touch a hip, touch nothing, touch your foot, it's all good, take your right arm, inhale, reach down, your exhale holds and folds. Inhale, looks up. Exhale here. From now on out, if you want, you can use that bump up instead of the roll through, or you can roll it through. We're going to meet sitting down. Next one, train your right hip back and right shoulder. Remember that. I always forget how to say this one. You're going to go backwards, not forwards. So bend your right knee, bring your right heel to the outside of your right hip. If this is not okay for you, you hold out for one moment. Hands behind your back when you space your hips. Inhale, sits up tall as might be you today. You might can lower your elbows behind you. You might lower all the way on your back. If this is not good for you today, Roll onto your left side. Push your hip forward, but hold your foot behind you. Arms at your sides. You're going to use your forearms. Push up to your hands. Unwind your legs. Crisscross your ankles in front. Lean forward and help bump up something. Exhale, sit. Right leg long. Bring that left heel in. Hands behind the back to start. Inhale, pack up the chest. Exhale, lower as far down on the side as you can. Or roll onto your right side. Hip in front, not rolling back and not rolling over. Keep your arms, press yourself up. Back to the center. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, vinyasa or bump up. Get on our seats. Janus, your shots now. Bend your right knee. This time, bring the sole of your right foot up towards your groin as close as you can get. Turn your torso over your left leg. Even if that knee seems like it's in the air. Walk your hands as far down your left leg as you are able. Hold symmetrically with both hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold as far as you can. Inhale, look up. Exhale, here. Rise up, crisscross the ankles. Next, inhale, bump up something. Exhale, sit, second side, right leg long. Left heel in. Torso over that right leg, reach as far down as you're able. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Wherever you at, there's room for growth, there's room for sensation. So if you feel like you're barely in the stretch at all, Still be mutable. Use your breath. The inhales make you longer. Exhales help you soften. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Inhale, leans back. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, 
if you're on our seat. This is very pretzelly, this next one. Crack the non reach yasana. Bend your right knee. This time, knee is up. Pull your right heel as close to your hip as you can, knee in the air. Bring both arms inside your right knee. Inhale, swing your torso forward. Exhale, bring your right arm in front of your right leg, fist behind. Left arm around your back. If your hands can touch, cool. If not, still cool. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Active in this pose, as weird as it is, use your arms and your legs to hug towards your ribs. Keep your left leg active. Inhale, look up. Exhale here, rise up, cross the ankles, the inhale bumps you up. Exhale, sit, second side. Right leg long, pull that left heel in. Arms inside your knee, inhale, swim forward. Exhale, swim around. Touch something or don't worry about it. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, here. Inhale, rises, lifts, and vinyasa. Knee on our seat. Same setup as before. Bend your right knee. Pull your right heel in. This is trithia, the twist. Keep your left leg active. Bring your right hand behind your back. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right. Elbow outside your knee. Right hand behind the back. Inhale, make us tall. Exhale, twist it to work. Really use that exhale to help you twist because when your lungs are empty, you can find a little more space. Inhale, look forward. Exhale. Unwind, cross the ankles. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. Right leg long. Pull the left heel in. Left hand behind your back. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist left. Elbow outside your knee. Your right leg active. The more active your base, the more leverage to twist. Good, and then look forward. Exhale. Unwind it. Vinyasa, we're going to meet sitting down. Now, wax in that boat pose. Bring your legs out long. Bend your knees, bring your heels in. Arms out, frame your knees, lean back. Inhale, lift up your legs if you can. Keep your abs tight. Exhale, cross your ankles, lean forward. Push into those palms. Inhale, bump up. We're going to do it again. Sit down, lean it back. Inhale, lift. The work in your belly, not your low back. Lower those heels. Not, no, not everything. Lower your heels if you need to. Cross your ankles, lean it forward. Inhale, bump it up. Exhale, sit. Let's do it again. Lean back and inhale. Use your breath. Exhale, lower. Cross the ankles. Inhale, bump it up. Two more. Sit. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross. Inhale, pop up. Exhale, sit. Last one. Inhale, lift. Be beautiful in the work. Keep yourself where you are. But allow the work to happen. Allow change to happen. Big inhale. Exhale, cross the ankles, roll it forward, vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up to your toes. Exhale, jump through the seat. Five, and last enough. 
Your hands to your feet. Use your hands to crack your feet open like you're reading the soles of your feet. For this first one, you want to keep a straight back. So elbows into your sides. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, reach your chest forward. Not rounding, straight spine. Even though that means you feel like you came forward half an inch, that's okay. Inhale, rise up. This time we're going to round and soften. So tuck your chin to your chest and round forward. Maybe your forehead hits your toes. Maybe you just stub yanking into your shoulders. Inhale, rolls up. Back. Remember, use those thumbs up, taking knees. Otherwise, exhale, vinyasa. We're going to be sitting down. So, I'm going to do the seated Upa Vishta Kanasana. Extend your legs nice and wide. You're welcome to turn to the side of your mat if you wish. We did this standing, notice it's sitting. As you inhale, reach as far down your legs as you can. Maybe your big toes, maybe your knees. Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull yourself forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. So for this next one, lean back. Some of us can kick our feet straight up into our hands. Some of us need to bend our knees and then lift up. We might be holding our thighs today if our knees fit that spine. Pull your chest up, pull your legs towards your chest, look up. Roll backwards is okay, just watch your head. Inhale, legs together, exhale, roll it forward, vinyasa. We are going to meet on our backs. Jump into the seated and lying down. Bend your knees. Bring your heels to the outsides of your hips. You have two options today. You'll be able to do a full back bend, full wheel, or bridge. So arms down the sides, push into your feet. Otherwise, hands are by your ears, fingers to your shoulders. Everyone, get into your feet. Inhale, pick up the hips. If you're holding, you got your hands by your ears, you're going to straighten your arms and lift up. Root into the feet, wherever you are. We're going to do three of these. Next exhale, kneel, just tap your head, bridge lower all the way. Inhale, rise right back up. Belly button in up, protect your spine. Exhale, wheel tap, bridge lowers. Last one, inhale, lift. Wheel, chin to chest, shoulders touch first, not your head. Bridge lowers down. Everyone needs to chest, give yourself a hug. Rock and roll, rock and roll. We are going to meet sitting up, long legs in front of you. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, we're going to meet lying down, however you intend to get there. Right for this next one. Be aware of high blood pressure issues, glaucoma, neck issues, or if you're pregnant. So inhale, lift the legs up. This is legs at the wall pose. 
You're welcome to stay here if you have any of those conditions I just talked about. If you want to go further and help pick up your hips, bring your hands to your low back. Not your butt, not your hips, your low back. Elbows are in towards your side. They're not splayed wide to the side. You are welcome to stay here. Or last enough plow pose. You bring your toes behind your head. Rest your toenails on the ground. And then maybe rest your arms. If you're flat on your back, you're great. Stay there. Hanna Kudasana. Bend your knees. Bring your knees to your ears, rest your shins on the ground. If you're on your back, take happy baby. Knees to ribs, hold your feet. If you're on your neck, or well, on your shoulders, not your neck, squeeze your head with your knees. The Padmasana, start to lift up your legs, stand your shoulders, and then crisscross applesauce or a lotus upside down. You can might bring your hands to your knees. Some of us are not there yet. I'm not there today, it's okay. Last one, bring your knees down, keep them crisscross if you can. Inhale, begin to lift up your legs. It is up to you whether you keep them crossed or not. Slowly and with control, lower down your back, lower your hips. It's not the asana. You can have straight legs or bent knees for this. Arms at the sides. Inhale, lift up your head and your shoulders. And then drop your head back. Set your head gently on the ground. Your back is arched. Your knees are bent or your legs are long. Low belly in. This is counteracting all the crunch in your neck to be here. Uttana Padasana. Inhale, lift your legs up 45 degrees. Arms out towards your toes. Low belly in. Exhale, lower arms and legs. From shoulders to ears, lie down. Now there is a backwards roll out from this pose. It's called Chakrasana. If you've got it, go ahead. Otherwise, bring your knees into your chest. You're going to rock and roll all the way up. And then exhale, Vinyasa. We're going to meet in downward facing dog. Hips in the air. Now come down to your knees. If you need to adjust so that there is nothing in front of you that breaks, or really nothing in front of you at all, go ahead. We are going to do work, Dalton or headstand. So grab the backs of your upper arms, not your elbows, your upper arms. Bring your elbows to the ground. You want to keep the elbows directly beneath your shoulders. Bring your hands out in front of you. Loosely interlace your fingers together, open basket. Keep your toes on the ground. Now look where your elbows are. They stay under your shoulders. Push into your forearms, push your shoulder blades across like you're a really mad cat. Drop your head, let it dangle, it's not on the ground yet. Curl your toes under your hips up and back. Now you can stay just like this. If you want to go farther, Walk your feet toward your face while you walk the back of your head till it touches your palms, and then set it down. Keep walking your toes to your face. You might bend the knees to lift up. Do not kick up. Kicking does not help. Exhale, feet down, knees down, hips to heels, child's pose. I know many people have that in their practice. 
Some days it happens, some days it doesn't. Be open to where you are. Not dismissive of progress, not dismissive of where you landed today. Arms out in front of you, look at your thumbs. As you inhale, glide like a snake. Exhale, chest around you. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Up on the toes and jump through to seated. Crisscross apple socks. Half lotus with one heel in your lap or full lotus with both heels. All good. Bring your hands into your lap. Ladies, place your left hands on top. Gentlemen, your right hands on top. So you're going to sit up tall. Okay, so tuck your chin slightly to your chest. All else the same. Inhale, extend your arms out long in front of you. Bring the backs of your hands to your knees and press your index fingers to your thumbs. One last place to go. As you inhale, open your eyes, lean back, bring your knees into your chest, whether they're in lotus or crisscross. Bring your hands just in front of you. Lean forward, you're gonna stand on your hands, push into your bones and lift up. Maybe you keep having to push yourself up, but see if you can hold for half a breath, a full breath, hold it up. Exhale, lower down. Bring yourself out in front of you on your inhale. Exhale, unwind your legs. Chats are on your lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Up on the toes. Jump through the seated. And lie down. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat. Bring your arms at your sides, palms up. Relax your pelvic floor. Relax the belly button. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, Shavasana. Let it go.
do all of us the same. Just please keep our hands. Notice your breaths and notice the way your body responds. Start to wake it up by moving your toes in little motions that carry all the way up to your eyelids. Ultimately, bring your arms above your head, big pencil wake up stretch. And as you exhale, roll onto your right side. And then using your arms, Press yourself up seated, hands together at your heart, thumb on your chest. The practice doesn't ask us to be flexible before we get onto our mats. It doesn't ask us to be perfect at the beginning or at the end of it. It asks us to be flexible during it. Even if that only extends to how we feel about our practice, how we breathe and how we're present and open to our practice open to the progress, open to our imperfections, our good days, and our bad. I'm very grateful to start the day together. Whatever time zone you're in, the light inside of me sees an honor to the light in each of you. Namaste.